Number one is Cameron Poe, owned and trained by George Anthrop of Marshall, Michigan, with Brett Miller. The two is Jasper Willow, owned and trained by John Nelson, Perrin 11 in Ohio, J.D. Perrin, the Rainsman. The three is Cedar Lawn Trace, owned by William Young of Grove City, Ohio, trained and driven by Terry Groves. The four is Jate Starr, owned and trained by Donald Miller of West Jefferson, Ohio. Dallas Miller is up. The five is Famous Flyer, owned by Karen Seifert of Mount Sterling, Ohio, trained by John Tatum, Aaron Merriman. The six is Falkirk, owned by Ron Cheryl of Dayton, Ohio, trained by David Lowe, Jeff Fount. The seven Torpedo, owned by Roger Bartley and Roger Bartley Jr. of Lockbourne, Ohio, trained by Roger Bartley, Brandon Bartley, the driver. Well, the eight is Henry B., owned in partnership by Randy and Nicole Hawkins of Old Washington, Ohio, trained by Randy Hawkins with Adam Rucker. For the outside of the nine is Warrowe Blue, owned by Keely Moore of Menden, Ohio, trained by Roy Murphy, Ryan Golden Handstall. And for the second tier of the ten, Rock's Big Boy, owned by Michelle Omer of Galloway, Ohio, trained by Bradley Omer, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman, Ian the Sulky. This field is in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside of the racetrack. Now to the middle, Famous Flyer gets the first call. Also on the go, Fall Kirk driving up on the outside of there. That's Warrawe Blue. These three tussle into the first turn. Cameron Poe along the inside is watching over these three leaders from fourth. Outside there in fifth, Torpedo looks to be parked there. Inside racing in sixth from the second tier. That is Rock's Big Boy. Seventh along the inside, Jasper Willow. Eighth there, that is Cedar Lawn Trace. And the two trailers here as they step by that open putting quarter mile mark of the race. Well, the two trailers here racing in ninth is Jade Star in 10th and trailing Warwick Blue. The opening quarter came and went in 28 seconds flat and on by the stand for the first time and heading on down to the half and on top. Driving to the top, Warwick Blue rolls right on here to take the lead. Out pops the five famous flyer to the outside of there. That's Torpedo as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. On top of the field, clearing to the frontier. That's famous flyer and it's a royal tussle up top here. They're halfway home, fifth. 57 in four fifths. A royal scramble for command continues here. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters. Famous flyer and Aaron Merriman to the top. Less than three eighths of a mile to travel. Torpedo has been parked every step of the mile to the outside. Racing in two along the inside. Warawe Blue racing in third. Looming the danger. Cameron Poe is off the pylons. Perfectly placed. Second over the outside in fourth. Fifth to the outside. Cedar Lawn Trace. Three quarters and 127 and three fifths. Backside 29 and 4 on top. Famous Flyers trying to get away here. Off stride went the one Cameron Poe as they turn to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Famous Flyer up top here and he's drawing clear by better than four. And looking for more. Famous Flyer is drawing clear here within the final 16th. Famous Flyer in front. Getting up for second here, the 10, Rocks Big Boy. Third was the 9, Warrawee Blue. The time of the mile, 157, one fifth. Famous Flyer. Miss Flyer. An eight-year-old chestnut horse by Falcon Almahers and an Alvatross mare. Looking fine. Owned by Karen Seaver to Mount Sterling, Ohio. Trained by John Tatum. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Aaron Merriman. That's two wins on this evening's card for Aaron, giving him a driving double as he steers the five famous flyer home in a new lifetime mark, 157 and one, and returns 760, $484. Second of the 10, Rocks Big Boy, returning 17, $28. Third of the nine, Warrawee Blue, $5 even. 5, 10 exact is $79. Well, the 5, 10, nine tries worth $1,348.20.